Hello, and in this video, we're going to add the grip to our carabiner pin nose. Uh, last video, we made the nose. This time, we're going to use that uh, geometry we already have to add in our grip, but that rubber grip that goes on the end. Uh, so it's going to go in this slot here. So we're going to start by doing a sketch. And since I'm looking at it this way, I'm going to select uh, this face that faces towards where the grip goes. Uh, then I'm going to select my circle tool, so a center point circle. And I want to start from the center. So you can change to a side view if you want and make sure you start at the origin, you get that box so we know at the origin. And I'm just going to make it bigger than my object. Then I'm going to turn back to the view I was looking at and zoom in. Uh, and we're going to dimension. And we're going to go from that inner circle where the ridge starts to go up to the outer where my grip is. And we measure with our dial caliper and we got about 0 0.05 for that thickness. Uh, I'm going to finish that sketch and then I'm going to turn my object and do the same thing on this end of the grip. So I'm going to hit sketch, click on that circle, and then I'm going to get a center point circle and I'm going to start from the middle. So you can either uh, go down and get that square or center or you can rotate it all the way around. I'm just going to hit that center circle. Uh, then I'm going to again go up outside my object so I can dim then dimension from the inner circle to the outer one and get a distance of 0.05. Set that as 0.05 and hit our green check to accept. Uh, next, I'm going to turn off the visibility of that initial pin portion we made. Uh, that way, we're just looking at the grip we're doing now. Uh, so then to connect it, I'm going to do a loft. So I come up and hit loft. And I'm just going to hit sketch 6 and then sketch 7 to make sure I get the right components. Make sure when you do this, it's selected as a new salad. Uh, because we want to make a new piece here, so a new salad. So I hit green check to accept, and that gives us that new salad piece. Uh, next, I want to hollow it out, so I'm just going to use the cell tool. I'm going to hit both of the outside edges because I want to remove those faces. And then the thickness, we made it go out 0.05, so our thickness should be 0.05. Hit our green check to accept, and that gives us the outline for our grip. Next, we need to add in the indentations. The indentations are an elliptical shape. Uh, to do this, first I'm going to just create a new plane. So I'm going to hit plane. I'm going to select this front plane. And it defaults to 1 as long as it's in front of the object, that's fine. So right now 1's way in front, so that's perfectly fine. I could have it right here and it'd be fine, or way, way far out and it'd be okay. Uh, but I'm going to select 1 as my default and keep it there. Next, I'm going to create a sketch. So I'm going to hit sketch on that new plane, plane 2 I just created. And I'm going to turn so it's uh, lined up better. Uh, then the grip, the indentations for the grip are in the elliptical shape. So what says center point circle, I'm going to hit the drop down and go to ellipse. Uh, then what I want to do is I'm going to start somewhere near the middle. It's not going to be perfect, and that's fine. We'll fix that later. And then I go out, and I'm going to place my point on line. And then I go up above and set that as well. I set my major axis to be 0.70. Enter and my minor axis to be 0 0.20 and enter. And again, you get those by measuring. Uh, then we want to locate it in the center. It looks pretty close to the center, but it's not fully dimensioned. Uh, so if we need to measure, we can take the tape measure and we can measure from one side, if we can get one edge, to the other edge. And we can get that distance from one edge. Oh, escape. I'm still in my tool. Uh, we can measure from one line to the opposite line and we can get the distance of 0.810. So when I dimension, I can click on the outer edge to the middle and I just want half that. So you can either do the math yourself or you can type 0.810 divided by two and it should give us 0 0.405 and it does. As you can see my objects, my sketch is fully constrained. Uh, so I'm gonna green check to accept. And then next we need to do an extreme. Uh, in this case, we want to remove, so I'm going to hit remove. And it's not going to be a blind, it's going to be up to face. And then we want it offset as well. So uh, up to face, first I need to tell it what to extrude. So I click inside my circle. Then I need to select the face, which is that grip face we just made. Then I need an offset distance. The offset distance we're going to set as 0.02 in this case. Uh, and if we change to our view, you can see it's going the wrong direction. So we want to flip our direction, and you can see it makes that indentation into our grip. Here, our green check to accept, and that gives us one indentation. 
uh, overall there's six of them. You probably don't want to repeat that process six times and try to equally space them. So instead what we want to do is come up here, may already show linear pattern, we want the circular pattern. So hit that drop down, get your circular pattern. Uh, then you have to change from a part pattern to a feature pattern. And I'm going to hit extrude 3 because that's what I want to repeat around. And then I have to select my axis up pattern, which is just going to be any of those circles. How many of them, the instant count is how many there are. And there's six of them and 360 degrees because I want it to go all the way around. Hit enter, and that makes those indentations for us. Hit a green check to accept. I'll turn my pen visibility back on. Uh, and this time I want to rename my part. So rename, this is my grip. So I'm going to name it grip. And we want to change our color, so I'm going to right click and uh, edit appearance. Uh, in my case, I had the orange pen, so I'm going to select an orange coloration for it and then hit the green check to accept. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to create that grip for your uh, carabiner or subtle pen. Uh, thank you and good luck.